Hi, my name is Nicholas Long. I'm a researcher here at the National Renewable Energy Lab. I work in the Commercial Buildings Group in the Analysis Tools and Control section, and I work on making buildings more energy efficient. In the United States, commercial buildings use a lot of energy, and the occupants are the ones that are driving that energy use because we're trying to make them comfortable. If we can make that feedback a little more connected where the energy use and the building's occupant comfort are linked together, we can save the energy and tune the building to meet exactly their needs. The building agent is a software tool that we built here at NREL that allows the building to communicate with the occupants and the occupants to communicate with the building. And this way we can save energy by understanding how occupants feel and adapting to the occupants needs. But one facet of the building agent is the ability to compare current energy use with what we expect the building to be using based on either a model or empirical data and we've been able to catch several issues with these buildings already where air handlers were left on over a holiday season, which we would not have been able to catch if we didn't have this capability of visualizing the data. What keeps me here at NREL are, are, are the people. They're, they're wicked smart, they're passionate about the mission as well, they are caring, they're loving, and to be honest, they're, they're my friends now. You know, I'm proud to actually work at a place where everyone has the same mission to, to contribute to a clean energy future. So I'm, I'm excited to come to work every day to tackle the next challenge because there's plenty of them. Auto manufacturers are planning on releasing fuel cell electric vehicles in showrooms so people like us can buy them in the years 2015 to 2017. Um, because the rollout is coming in the next couple of years, really the focus on infrastructure is key. Here at NREL, we've always looked at reliability. Some of the work we're doing is not only analyzing appropriate locations for fueling stations, but also doing infrastructure testing. One of the key issues surrounding Refueling, of course, is where the customer comes in contact with the refueling equipment, and that's where the hose and nozzle assembly uh, come into play. So the idea behind the robot in the hose reliability testing research project is to perform uh, the repetitive motion, the bending and twisting that people do when we refuel our vehicles. It's all programmable and it's all automated. We're also pressurizing the hose and exposing the hose to low temperatures, which is required for refueling fuel cell electric vehicles quickly. So right now the test plan um, for this hose reliability project includes repetitive cycling to high pressure, low temperature, and the bending and twisting of a normal refueling action. But in addition to those obvious things that you might test for a hose, we're performing some analysis on the hose material itself to see how the hose material degrades over time. We speak to industry all the time, and what we've heard is that they're replacing these hydrogen hoses um, perhaps as often as a hundred, after 100 refuelings. The, the hoses we use today to refuel our gasoline cars uh, are used thousands of times. So here at the Energy Systems Integration Facility, partnering with industry is, is very important. Working with the only hose manufacturer in the world, uh, they're very interested in the testing. They've done the certification testing for pressure and temperature, but they have not done the bending, twisting motion that we have programmed the robot to do today. So this hose reliability testing project is uh, a matter of um, adding value and working with industry to reduce the costs of the hose and the hydrogen and the hydrogen infrastructure in general. We have everything here in this facility and it really allows industry to come in and perform testing that they will not be able to do anywhere else in the world.